Jaina, congratulations on the old guard. Thank you. Thank you. How do you feel the night before any big project? And was this project any different? This project is different because of the bigness of it. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Obviously, I've loved every film that I've made, and there's such an excitement to put it out into the world after working so hard on it. This film has been a two-year journey. It's it's taken <laughs> it's taken that long, um, and the fact that now it's going to drop in 160 countries on the same day that is blowing me away because most of my films have been domestic. So the fact that I'm talking to you uh, in Ireland is this is something completely new for me. And the fact that it's dropping on Netflix where people have access, you know, um, cinemas are great, but Netflix, you know, you may turn on a movie that you may not ordinarily watch. So people will watch something and fall in love with it. And are you ready for that response? Yeah, it's, it is a fascinating thing. I love theatre. I love the bigness yeah. of it. I love the having a group of people have this collective experience, um, which is amazing. But again, we make movies for audience and the audience on Netflix is huge. And as, as you said, I think people give movies a greater chance. Maybe it's something you wouldn't get in a car, drive, pay money for something. Here you can sit down and experience something that that may may not have drawn you initially. And that's actually really exciting, not just for me, but for a lot of filmmakers who are able to tell their passion projects on Netflix. We all know that representation matters. You need to be able to see yourself on the big screen to, to, to believe that you can be that. And I love that all these superheroes are from different backgrounds and people who you may not think could be a superhero, but you took it that one step further and you made sure that there was representation behind the scenes. Why was it so important to you to make sure there were so many females heading up the departments behind the scenes? It, our industry is incredibly tough. And there are so many great women out there, great artists who are not getting the opportunities. And their resumes are smaller, but it's not about talent, it's about opportunity. So me being a woman and having the same struggles, I, I know what their struggle is. So I am more intent, intentional on finding great women. And the thing is, me having women behind the scenes is not a politically correct thing. These women are great at what they do. And so they make me look good. They make the film better. And my hope is that in me giving women um, the opportunity in this big space, like my editor, Terry Shropshire, um, who's phenomenal, you know, now people can't look at a resume and say she can't do it because it's there and she did it and did it so well. And that's how I feel about all the great women that worked on this film. It was an opportunity to give them this platform, give them this credit. And I hope that Hollywood understands that, that you are missing out when you're not hiring these women. Yeah. Well, you've said, um, I love what, uh, I love to reframe what it means to be a female. And I feel that movies can absolutely change the narrative and the conversation. Courage has no gender, badass has no gender. So what was your reaction when you went, you know what, I see Niall having a bigger part in this film. Did you have to fight for that? Or did everyone go, actually, you're right. I just never saw it. <laughs> I was very fortunate in that the writer of the graphic novel, novel Greg Rucka, wrote the screenplay. I, I love that dude so much. He's so smart, so giving, such an incredible heart. And he had already noticed that um, in the graphic novel. So when he did those first drafts of the script, he had already started um, expanding her character and then when I came aboard that was you know that was my thing I saw this character and I felt we could do more with her and Greg was great there was zero zero pushback with Greg and with Skydance who had found the material and, and was developing with him and that was a beautiful thing because that is not always the case but I think that's why it's important for more women and more black women and black men to be in this in this chair in this director's chair because the things that we are going to notice um, that a lot of Hollywood that Hollywood doesn't notice um, is important. And that is let's expand these black characters. They don't need to be sidekicks. Um, they can have a full arc just like all the other characters. Well, I'm excited that you're in that chair and that you've brought us this. And I'm not even going to bother asking you about your next project because all you've said is it's bigger than this, but I will say cannot wait to see what it is. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And I did get Gina, it. Oh, thanks. Thanks. That's all my parents' problem. Uh, fault. <laughs> um, Gina, so lovely to meet you. Thank you.
you too. Bye.